you know, January 6th, you know, which as far as they're concerned was, you know, the, the greatest insurrection in the history of insurrections also happened to be the first unarmed insurrection in the history of the world. And yet they utilize that narrative over and over again, right? They, they create a narrative. You see the sound bites. You see every aspect in mainstream media picking up on every talking point. It's always the same. You, you put in the three words and it becomes gospel, right? Now, as of this week, it was you know, convicted felon, like, you know, without looking at the details of this case, right? Convicted felon is the new one. Joe Biden can't run on anything, so he's running against a convicted felon. How can you allow that? Donald Trump's favorite son, Don Jr., did a bizarre barefoot live stream interview with former actor Russell Brand, who is now just a political anti-establishment hack. Do not listen to this guy about anything. He just latches on to any anti-establishment politician. So, of course, this entire interview was just softball questions. Don Jr. and Russell Brand agreeing about how much the institutions are targeting and persecuting daddy Donald Trump. Like right there, they were undermining the seriousness of January 6th, saying that it was overblown by the left, even though the peaceful transfer of power was interrupted. He also tries to fault the left for daddy Donald Trump being called a convicted felon, even though that's exactly what he is. I feel like the entire Trump family lives in this post-truth era where they don't recognize the facts about January 6th. They don't recognize the facts about the 2020 election or Donald Trump's criminal case or his newly found conviction. Convictions. Yes. Disregarding all of the corruption of his family, all of the corruption and the you know, e illegalities that his son has done. I mean, you know, you compare me online, you know, to Hunter Biden and I am the devil and he is you know, someone who simply suffers from addiction, not is just a total piece of garbage, has sold out our country. Uh, you know, I, I get it. I am not the upstanding citizen that he is, uh, according to CNN. But the reality is that doesn't that doesn't jive if people get below the surface, they be just the narrative that they're spoon fed. Yeah, what I'm starting to think is that when you can see powerful institutions leveraged and utilized in a particular direction, you can observe likely where the power lies and where power and, and, and what its agenda yeah. is and where, where it's projected towards. It must be very difficult, I suppose, for anyone that's living in your country right now, but in particular for someone in your family to to try to contemplate what's happening on a larger scale because when an election is approaching there is a kind of generalized hysteria and both sides to a degree i suppose are amplifying the enmity between the two camps but russell brand is the worst type of populist political commentator and i can't stand it i feel like the type of rhetoric that he uses is the type that allows authoritarianism to rise over time undermining our institutions eroding our norms holding one one figure up on a pedestal acting like he's going to come in and solve all of our problems and that he's being persecuted by our institutions which need to be torn down. If Don Jr. and Russell Brand got their way, Donald Trump would be above the legal and judicial system in America. The law wouldn't apply to him. He would be free to do whatever he wants. They would enact Project 2025 and our liberal democracy would end. Don Jr. then goes on a weird rant about Greta Thunberg, Dr. Fauci, and George Floyd for some reason saying, the left holds them up as deities. I don't know, watch. You know, Fauci was never the best doctor. He's been wrong about everything since the 1980s. But if yeah. you said, during the pandemic, if you said anything about that guy, you were out. You know, he was the, you know, the left's deity for yes. a, you know, a two year period. He was a god. They don't believe in actual god. So they create their own, right? They had, you know, Greta Thunberg as the high priestess of climate change. Uh, you know, they go to, you know, Fauci uh, as the, the, the lord of COVID. Um, George Floyd for you know, a shorter period of time, but you know th that was a that was a temporary deity uh, of the left for a while, and today that's dominated by Vladimir Zelensky, you know, a you know leading one of the most corrupt nations in the world, who we will blindly send trillions of dollars to for uh, a an end result that has not yet actually been articulated to me, and I do this kind of at this point for a living. Uh, you know, they just blindly follow these things, and we must believe the gospel, and we must believe everything is above board. But I think they've overplayed their hand in each and every one of these instances so much that rational people, people with an IQ above like seven, 
they're actually questioning these things now. And, and I think that's the biggest thing for us. We have to question all of these things. All right, let's debunk all that. To his last point about IQ, all polls are showing that college-educated Americans are breaking blue, are voting for Biden. And the more educated you are, the more you vote blue. Secondly, he randomly brought up Zelensky and said that he does this for a living, but he doesn't know why we're sending trillions of dollars or whatever he said. Number one, I say this a lot, but we're not just sending money. We're not just sending cash bags. About 70% of the aid that we send is in the form of old stockpiled military equipment that we can then replace and in the process we create new American jobs so it boosts the American economy. Right wingers love that argument. You got to meet them where they are. They just care about the economy. So say that this boosts the economy when we fund Ukraine and we get to uphold the global order that we've spent decades and decades building with NATO. We've strengthened NATO and now we've just welcomed Sweden and Finland. We're stronger than we've ever been and we can't let Russia march into a NATO country and grab it. I don't know how Don Jr. has never had that articulated to him, and he does this for a living. He also always acts like the left worships George Floyd or holds him up as a deity. All of us condemn George Floyd's personal actions, but his unjust murder was caught on camera. Derek Chauvin had no right to murder George Floyd in that situation. It was caught on camera, and it's just a perfect example of this broad pattern we see in America of black Americans being unjustly arrested unjustly targeted and unjustly murdered in that case. Also, Greta Thunberg, I don't even know what to say about that. She's just like a young girl who believes in climate change and the right hates her. All of the rights boogeymen and boogie women, and also Dr. Fauci, who's been serving the government since 1969, longer than Don Jr. has even been alive, I believe. So it's wild to say that Fauci is not a real doctor when you guys look up to Dr. Phil. Don, you've brought up so much there. I'm so glad that you've brought up the new erected, forgive the word, pantheon of gods that are casually strung and slung before us in the absence of real faith and in the absence of real love. That's something I want to discuss more because when you do have just a material and rational purview, it is very easy for the state to replace yeah. God, for a set of ideals to replace God that are tethered to it seems to me some pretty corrupt values. Again, Russell Brand has this really annoying fake spiritual personality that he puts on. I think it's really hard to be more annoying than Don Jr. in an interview, but Russell Brand successfully does it by spewing out these word salads that are supposed to be woke and supposed to be spiritual, but they make no sense. Can be who you are. Yeah, like, well, you know, it sort of, I grew up on construction sites, right? It was a little, you know, it was a little different, so. I understand I totally come from a privileged place. I understand I'm a son of a billionaire from New York, but my father was a little different uh, with the way he pushed us uh, How, you know, you from mean? that world. Like, was, was you were on sites when he had construction projects in New York, you were there. No, like, you know, I was, you know, those were my first jobs, right? You know, uh, I always joke, I mean, I'm the only son of a billionaire who can, with my brother, I guess, you know, who can drive a D10 Caterpillar, you know, bulldozer. Can you? Because we actually did those things. He made us, you know, if you're going to build a building, you better know how to dig a foundation. You know, watching someone do it and actually spending a summer doing these things yourself are, are two very different things. And I think to sort of where we left before the break, you know, that's perhaps how Trump had, a, had an understanding of sort of real people in America, right? It, it wasn't just a guy that sat in a, you know, in a gilded office. He did that too. But, you know, he got down on the ground being a builder, not just you know, a tech guy where you're sitting at a computer all day, you know, spending time on job sites, spending time with construction workers. Spending time stiffing construction workers. And listen to Don Jr.'s wording. He said, spending a summer doing it is different than watching someone doing it. But if you spent a single summer as a teen or a young kid doing construction, if he spent a summer, like he said, that does not mean he has the lived experience of the average construction worker who does it for decades and decades. And it takes a toll on their body. But just because him and his brothers role played as construction workers for a single summer, when he was 12 years old because Donald Trump needed an excuse to bring them somewhere and act like he wasn't a lousy father for a day does not mean that they know what it's like to be a construction worker. Just a wild, bizarre, barefoot interview with Russell Brand and Don Jr. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment a blue heart,